a lot of spouses leave their job to support their members full time. And, you know, it may not be politically popular to say, but honestly, this is why there's so much pressure to turn to lobbying firms and to cash in on, on mm -hmm. member service after people leave because, um, because precisely of, of this issue. So it may be politically convenient and it may make you look good in the short term for saying, mm -hmm. oh, we're not voting for pay increases, but we should be fighting for pay increases for every American worker. Mm -hmm. We should be fighting for a $15 minimum wage pegged to inflation so that everybody in the United States with a salary, with, with a wage, gets a cost of living increase. Members of Congress, retail workers, everybody should get uh, cost of living increases to accommodate for the changes in our economy. And then when we don't do that, it only increases the pressure on members to exploit loopholes like insider trading loopholes to make it on the back end. So do you think there's a I'm tendency sorry, think do you think there's a tendency of members yeah. uh, to, to obviously take take it out on this institution because it's an optics issue. They don't want to right. seem like that. Right. And, and that's my issue is that it's superficial. You know, you can you can vote against pay increases all you want. It's in my opinion voting against a pay voting against a it's not even like a raise, it's a cost of living adjustment. So you can vote against a cost of living adjustment all you want, and it'll look good on its surface, but it will every cost of living adjustment that, that gets bypassed is voting to increase the pressure to exploit loopholes and legal loopholes to kind of lean on other ways to enrich oneself through service. And so my whole side of it is like, it may not be optics, it may not be great optics it may not like look the best and in terms of your opponents could use it as a political it's put as a political issue but in substance you might as well be transparent about a cost of living increase fight for a cost of living a living increase for all american workers peg the minimum wage to a cost of living increase and then on top of it to close all of the loopholes that a lot of people use when it comes to you know sitting on a committee and knowing what legislation may be coming down the the loophole and changing your stock holdings or letting, you know, it, these are real issues. And I don't think that voting against a cost of living increase is going to negate the actual issues at hand. In fact, it only increases the pressure for people to exploit people's loopholes.